Hello everybody and welcome to the first game, the inaugural game of our Pyramid Run versus Alexa. If you don't know what this is, I'll put a link at the very top of the description. You can check out effectively going over the rules of what the Pyramid is. The game is like a meta game devised by Alexa himself. Uh, but effectively, we are getting, we got randomized some roguelikes and a couple things that aren't roguelikes, some all indie games, mostly roguelikes, that we're going to be going head to head against them. We get bonus points if we beat multiple games in a row. We get bonus points for doing specific objectives in each game. And then we got them randomized and then we did a back and forth draft of the order in which we're going to do them to try to mess each other up. I went first. I drafted Isaac first because I don't think I'm going to do very great. It's honestly, I've played, I've played a lot of Isaac, but I played very little recently. And uh, the additional thing, the bonus run, we have to play on the hard, hard seed. I mean, I, te I guess technically we don't. If I thought this was going to ruin my chances, I, this will gain me 50 points. I get 100 points for winning, 50 points for winning with this seed on, which makes it so all the damage is full damage other than that there's nothing really stated so i guess we're just gonna pop on in except i'll figure out what's going on here what's one enabled what's what's enabled full heart damage oh, okay heck here we go i like i said i it's been a hot moment so full heart damage normally i think uh that comes into effect in let's see the womb anyways so effectively, I guess it's just making it harder early on. Hello, welcome back to Isaac. Uh, I guess it's just making it harder early on. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. Alexa's perspective of this is going to be going up at the same, same, uh, same days. We effectively we got what do we got? We got Binding of Isaac, Dead Cells. Uh, I, I'm doing Super Animal Royale. I think he's doing Super Animal Royale. Then we got Legend of Bumbo, and then we have Overcooked. Oh, hmm. Okay, so this generates soul hearts. I don't know if those are going to be full hearts or not. Here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to... Ah, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? The D6 is so great. It rerolls our items, you know? It, it's just a big deal. I, I think we need to I think we need to keep it. Risk reward, you know? Like, I know I would probably be safer off as a newer player here i mean i'm not new but like whenever you leave a game for a while i i don't know i just feel new again i feel brand new again <sighs> like even fighting famine i'm like i don't even remember exactly this guy's patterns let alone this blue version of him he seems really like he likes to charge a lot but anyway yeah we got uh we got five games drafted in a row isaac first Followed by Dead Cells. I'm not too worried about Dead Cells. We're playing on uh, no boss cell difficulty. I, we don't even have to beat the game, I think. We just have to go to the uh, t the time warp. So for that, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned here, and I'm concerned about... <laughs> I'm concerned about Overcooked. Playing Overcooked single player. We're, we're doing that last, but... We'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping to get a clean sweep. A perfect. I'm sure maybe over on the, the Alexa channel, you're going to be hearing some trash talk. I wish him luck. I hope we both get perfect runs. And then we have smiles on oh, our face. Ha <laughs> ha. That's an all stats up. That's a good start. I like that. I don't think it's worth it to go into a sacrifice room this early on when it's going to do two full hearts of damage to us. That seems a little dumb. Seems like a little bit of a dumb choice. <gasps> get that off my screen. Inappropro. Okay. Uh, 50% I mean, I don't even... I never really did that that much. But we, uh, like, I played a lot of Binding of Isaac on my channel uh, in the past. It's, like, you know, it's... Even though it's been a while since it's been on my channel, it's, like, the series that probably has, like, the third most episodes. I don't even know what this stuff is. Soul Heart, enemy bullets have a chance to be deflected. Bounces around the room, deals contact damage while firing tears. It will stop moving. Uh, this sounds like a good thing for a bad boy. Okay. So far, so far, like, I'm loving all the defensive kind of tools we have. And, I mean, in all stats stuff, it can't really, can't really go wrong there. But, 
Yeah, I, I have like uh, across all of my Binding of Isaac series, I probably have what like 200 or something. 200, uh, 150, 100, 200, two, probably 200, two, 200, 250 episodes, something like that. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the only things that are in the same vicinity, uh, Dicey Dungeons across all the series is probably in the 200. Uh, Undermines over over 100. Other than that, it's like. And then it's Enter the Gungeon, which is going to hit a thousand episodes of that game this week, which is a little bit ahead of the pack. But anyway, yeah, the reason I put this first, I don't think it's any kind of a freaking secret. Uh, I Enter the Gungeon is to Rito what Binding of Isaac is to Alexa. So I would thought that, you know, I, he, he seemed a little bit concerned about this this run actually taking him down, which I, I was surprised about. I have faith in him when he has no faith in himself. You know, I ain't gonna re-roll dog food. Okay. Uh, what is this? After taking enough damage, gain a permanent demon familiar. I'm not gonna take any damage. When dead, respawn as Black Judas. That's, I think... Isn't it just Dark Judas? Full health. Well... Bombs are key. Well, we know what those are. The question is basically if I want this as well or not. And I'm going to say sure. Because we might actually do a lot of damage to ourselves at one point. To uh, literally just... Uh, like, I don't know. Poke ourselves over into Dark Judas land. To do two times damage sounds quite good to me. I think we're just going to leave, honestly. I don't have any... Oh, okay. Secret rooms. I forgot. Secret rooms in Binding of Isaac are easier to find than in others. Okay, so there can't be one down here because they actually have some clear patterns to them. They try to touch as many rooms as possible. At the same time, this is looking like I don't. I don't know. I have no no good guess where one would even be on this because up there like you may, maybe we can bomb our way up from this room I doubt it though I doubt it because I think that I think there were rocks on the top of the wall before and eh, whatever wasted a couple bombs who cares we're off to a good start we haven't I shouldn't say but we, ha we haven't been hit yet have we have we so I mean like that's a good start curse of darkness it's an annoying curse. It makes it, you guessed it, dark. But that's about it. Like, I'd rather have that than any any of the other ones. It's just it's just annoying and makes it a little bit visually, a little bit visually goofy. But I didn't. I don't know. I haven't played a ton. I haven't played a ton of Isaac in Afterbirth Plus. I'll be real. Most of my like, oh, I'm gonna get pincered. The vast. Vast, I have no idea how I was going to handle that situation as soon as they started pincering me. Uh, vast, vast, vast majority of my gameplay of Binding of Isaac is just in base afterbirth. Or rebirth afterbirth. So, I don't know. Like There actually might even be enemies that I totally don't even really know that well. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, range up, tier height. Okay. Tier height. I'll take it because I think this is a fun item. It is indeed a fun item. Is it a good item? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Seems kind of like uh, kind of effective. Like a like a bouncy shot, kind of. It gives you a chance on your garbage missed, missed hits to do something good. If we Oh, if we got rubber cement. That would be good. Bouncing off of enemies. That'd be fun. Would it be, well, would it be good? I don't know. I always, uh, in my head with roguelikes, especially with like Bonnie Vibes and stuff like that, I'm like, fun. Fun is good. I don't know if good is good. Fun is good. When taking damage, chance to get plus five range and leave a, tr a trail of blood creep that doesn't seem that exciting to me honestly we have a double boss room even though this isn't an xl floor i'm confused by that fact shouldn't have killed that guy 
on the other side of the pit. Some kind of flight or like a ladder would be really exciting right now. So I think we have two instances where we, yeah, we have the battery on the other side of that one pit and we also have the, oh, get away from me. That's a save it for later problem. <laughs> we'll deal with that. Oh, I thought for sure that was going to be a secret room. I thought for sure that was going to be a secret room. If we walk into, if, if we go into Thor's the shop later, we're in for a rude awakening. In for a rude awakening. But I, I didn't even mention, we are going to the chest. I didn't even mention that. We're going to the chest. I guess it, maybe, maybe it was clear, just like beat the game. And that's like, I feel like beating the chest is the most standard and honestly most fun version of beating the, god dang, dang game, their health pool is too chonky for me. Their hitbox is deceptively small too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want that. But yeah, I'm not... Okay, I'm not seeing another item room, so I don't think this is an XL floor. I think there's just a double boss for some reason. I didn't even... I didn't know that could happen on a non-XL... Maybe it's because of the hard hard seed, though, actually. Now that I think about it. Should we go over to deal with our problem? Okay. Do I want to go in? Sure. I don't know why I wanted to, but here, if, actually, if we do this, if we, eh. I wanted to place it here so we would actually get him blown up too. But I didn't know if that was going to be close enough. Okay, well, what do we want to do? Car battery is really good with the right stuff. It uses your active item twice. The D6 just rerolls stuff. So it's not really good with the D6. I'm thinking we actually just, like, kind of cut our losses here. And actually... Stonks? Stonks? Stonks! Hey! Oh, stonks. Okay. I don't remember what the gold bomb does, though. I think we have infinite bombs for the floor. I think we have infinite bombs for the floor? Okay. I'm gonna steal. I, I'll steal from the donation machine to get value today. I don't care. This is the most important Isaac run of my life. There's bragging rights on the line. Bragging rights, I said. Oh. Ain't easy being cheesy. At one point, this is gonna stop paying out, though, I would imagine. It, it has to break at some time, doesn't it? It has to break it sometime, doesn't it? It has to break it sometime. I'm pretty darn sure that... I think there's a... At some point, it stops paying out. Okay, now I'm starting to feel a little bad about myself. Now I'm starting to feel a little bad about myself. Now I feel good about myself again. What if we got money equals power, though? A.K.A. for the Gungeon heads out there. Uh, Gilded Bullets. Okay, I'm starting to think that... It lets you steal as much as you want. I mean, like, I got a golden bomb, baby. This is this is what it's all about. This is what Isaac's all about. Breaking the game. I have 99 coins. And I like that fact. We have infinite money for the floor. So, like, let's... Okay, so we can, uh, we can see the whole map. X lax. Okay. Do I want... I, I'll, t I'll take car battery. I mean, we need to be careful. We need to be careful because you can use up the item pool really quickly. Also, let's go get infinite money again. No reason not to. You can use up the item pool, and then it just turns into breakfast, which is just an HP up, which, you know, honestly, for, for, for me, <laughs> it's probably fine. We should have been doing this the whole time. Cheese the game at max speed. Okay. All right. Well, now I want money equals power. God, we, we should... Uh, I got the car battery mostly for future use. I didn't, I didn't get it because I want to double my usage of uh, the freaking 
D6. Oh god. Does this count as a double item charge? Exclamation point question mark? That'd be neat. Yeah, I'm super confused. Because I thought the XL floor, this has to be from the hard, hard seed, right? Has to be, right? Because I thought that these XL, the XL rooms had to have uh, two of the same boss even. Doink, 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 doink. Oh, okay. Damage range up. All good with that. We didn't get a deal with the devil. Which I think actually is normal. Now that I actually think about it a little bit. Should we just take that? I thought we were going to maybe get another battery charge. Is there any more rooms I can... There's no more rooms I can do. Okay. Uh, we could do the world card. While we have three bombs. To find this. Does it not find the super secret room? Does it not find the super secret room? It doesn't find a super secret room. And we didn't even do... Oh, shoot. Well, we don't have any keys, so we couldn't... We can't do the ch challenge room or trap room or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. Has a name. Uh, we can't do it because we didn't have any keys. There's that one on the ground, but we can't get to it. So far, so fine. I'm liking the run. I'm liking the run. Been only hit one time, so I'm like, I'm cool with that. I am not doing boss rush. I'm not doing anything fancy dancy. No siree, Bob. No siree, Bob. I need, I need all the help I can get with this one. Yeah, I don't even know. I shouldn't be doing that. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need money. Uh, I'm not a fan of this scenario. Okay. Poke. DVD window. Please. Item rooms now appear in the womb. That's gross. But I'll take it. We don't We don't need a, a money magnet. Like, I think the money magnet is a good trinket, but like... We're loaded, dude. I can pick up my own money. I'm not like all those other millionaires who won't go grab their own money. <laughs> Whatever that means. Jeez, uh, Louise. Wonder what Alex is talking about right now. Oh, this is probably like either tr maybe trash talking me, maybe saying. That he, how happy he is that, uh, or sad he is that we didn't roll Spelunky so I could embarrass myself because I have 10 hours in Spelunky and he has like 100. <laughs> Probably. I, I, bet, I guarantee you that was mentioned somewhere. Maybe he's mentioning something about, let's see, maybe it's something about happy that Gungeon didn't get rolled. Not that they, honestly, the Gungeon one is just beating the dragon. I could, I could do that with everyone's eyes closed. Not my own, though. <laughs> I, I can do it with your eyes closed. Okay, turn all pickups into hearts. That might be a good whoops situation to have. We can bomb right here to get over and pick it up. Okay, so we need to be at 1 HP. 1 red HP to get in there. Oh, man, I don't know what situation I would transform myself into Dark Judas, but I, I feel like it's just one of those things where you want to just... Summons three blue spiders and... Okay. I'll just do it in a boss or something. You kind of like... I want to do it right away. Like, I want to just send myself to the astral plane so that I could have the big number, the double damage. But at the same time, if you think about it, this is all just bonus time, then. This is all just bonus time. Okay, well, now I'll just do this. So we, if we do get boss rush, which I don't think we can, uh, we can teleport out now. Um, what was I talking about? We're on borrow time. Like, uh, bonus time. Yes, I know. If a, bunch of, if a bunch of soul hearts drop, spirit hearts drop, HP ups or something like that, then we should probably doink ourselves. Uh, platonically. We should, you know, jump into a pit a bunch of times. Or do whatever you would do in, in Isaac instead of Gungeon. To just, you know, die, come back, get all the HP ups or whatever. It's strats. What is this one? 
Isn't this one bad? Is this one bad? I think that one's bad. Fires tears and copies your tears damage? Is this just like... Teacher says, you know, do 2020. And then I just okay, you can copy and just change a little bit. I think. When you stores all pickups from the current room. That seems bad. Diplopia. We love Diplopia. Which floor is this? Flooded Caves 2. So is this... This isn't Mom, though. Okay, well, we might be able to get, like, a uh, an absolute banger supreme situation going on here, because car battery should use it twice, so in theory, we'll double an item and then we'll double it again? I think? I think it's that good. Seems too good to be true, so we'll see. Whatever it is, like, the item has to be good here. We're pretty... We're a, there's a an above-average chance that we'll get a deal with the devil. We could pop into there, too, and steal the stuff from deal with the devil, too. Which is pretty juicy. Guys, I miss Binding of Isaac. We, and to answer any questions, yes, we're going to come back to Binding of Isaac for uh, heckin' anti-birth, but actually a DLC this time, though. Okay, so... Well, first of all, we check here. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I want to take the D6 with me. It doesn't double it twice. Come on. We can do better than that. How do we... Can we squeeze through the door? Okay, here's what we do. <laughs> I, I goofed myself a little bit. Here's what we do. Let me tell you the order of operations. Step one. Get kind of dead, though. Step one, get kind of dead, though. I don't have a key for that, so... The most obvious way to do it is to do it in a way where we get rewards first. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we get soul hearts here. Uh, and now... Ah, uh, yikes. Actually, I'm a little spooked to do it that way. Do we just... Do we just die? I'm, I'm terrified of doing this. But we have a lot of HP up there. I hate this. I hate this, but it's a good idea. It's... I hate it, but it's a good idea. As long as we literally... We just have to make it back to the boss room without dying. Okay. Okay. We do a lot more damage and we're really healthy now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a run. Was there seriously... Like, there's nothing else to buy in the shop? Did I just... I must have had tunnel vision. There has to be something. I don't... I guess I don't know what this is. Ace of Diamonds. Uh, I can't say that it's hyper-relevant to us. Woohoo! And two more HP! Oh, pa, a bless. Alright, I think we are, um. We are stacked? I am. I'm disappointed that Diplopia didn't, didn't go twice. Because that would be hilarious. Because I thought we were going to get four, or, uh, yeah, four of them, so that'd be four HP ups. We'd have four red hearts, and, I mean, it's not really, it doesn't really matter. Should I just, like, I don't know. The answer is no, I shouldn't have. But I just, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm cool with wasting stuff sometimes. <laughs> All right. We should hit really hard. We should hit really, really hard. Unidentified pill. Health up. I, uh, I like it. I, I'll take it. I like it. We should have done the boss challenge room. 
on the last floor. That's okay. I'm I'm new at this again. What's that room look like? It's giving me the middle finger. I don't like that. Inappropriate. Uh, okay. Battery recharges our D6. I do want to change off of our D6 at some point. It's the classic Isaac conundrum. And I'm not just saying the Binding of Isaac. I'm saying the Binding of Isaac playing as Isaac. It's the classic conundrum. When do I get rid of my D6? I mean, first of all, I need to find another active item. Second of all, like, it shouldn't be too hard to find a good one now because we we have car battery. Whatever it is, it gets to be used twice. Oh, we effectively have piercing. We need to use it, use it better. Okay, shop. I. Uh oh, we'll probably get greed if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> God dang it! We're probably gonna get greed because he's more likely to show up when you have a lot of money, and we have a, a lot of money. Okay, you are ticking me right off, mon frere. I love how it looks like the, um, from this side, it looks like the uh, metal plate is being band bandaged to our head. I really like that. Drop a random pickup when you get hit. Well, I'd have to get hit to make that happen. Oh, heck. Don't like that. I'm gonna buy both of these before they disappear. Wait, so actually... Ooh. Minus one charge for active item. Okay, well that actually could be really good. Further increasing our chance that we're gonna have some kind of a busted combo later. Is this just... This it just refreshes. Plus one soul heart grants a shield when entering the boss room. That sounds good for uh, little old me. We should have bombed. Restock traps. Three random pickups. Shops instantly restock their items when you buy them. Well, that would have been uh, really, really good on that one floor where we could just uh, steal everything from the shop effectively. Still... I can't be mad about this run. This is a very, very generous, generous run. Like, I was talking the other day about... Um, the, the Enter the Gungeon versus Isaac for streaking. And how, like, stre streaking at whatever, maximum... You know, the highest, the thousand, thousand hours of gameplay level. Oh my god. Like, I'm not playing great today but the game is just you know it's being super nice to me it's being so nice to me better pills plus one pill i'll just i'll just take it i'll just take that i know we have some good pills in our um in our cycle i don't know what you call it but yeah at, at max play or whatever at thousand hour play or whatever i feel as though Binding of Isaac is more volatile. Like, yes, you can be so good that no that no RNG will screw you, but it's the it's so volatile in a in a fun way in a fun way. Like, I can get carried. You know, I'm 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 not too proud to admit that I uh, I'm I'm getting carried. Like, if I was given bad RNG today, like semi bad RNG today. This would have been a boss on the same seat or whatever, like, you know, on the, uh, the hard, hard seat. So, like, just in the same way that we could, things could go amazing, things could also just go so bad in, in Isaac. It just happens. It just happens. If you're good enough, you can deal with the RNG, but it, it's just more volatile. Someone who, uh, has, like, a crazy high streak could, in theory, get screwed over by bad RNG. Could, it could happen. It could happen. the hell drop chance to drop random item on getting hit eh. okay well now i just need a lot of money again i want that i want that infinite bomb situation again i think we're out of here this is necropolis one so we do get an item to reroll here i'm gonna get these fires i always get hit against this stink hole yeah that move i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it where do you stand on this fight? <laughs> there, I guess? 
there, I guess? I see now. I understand this fight. You can carry two cards, runes, or pills. Or drops random card pill. You can do better. Plus 1.2 damage up, minus 1 health down. We would use it twice. Single use. Oh, God, no. I thought this was the uh, the forget me now or whatever. Is razor blade permanent? One health down. Okay. Doesn't deal a damage, it's a health down. You know, like, it's not a dumb idea. Like, I think we could do really, really well with that. I think we can do better than Caffeine Pill. Like, uh, we could see the big number. And I do like the big number. But we can just go with this. I, I wanna get a, I wanna get an active item that I'm, I'm happy to have, you know? Like, I don't know what I want at this point, I guess, but regenerate health slowly, plus one health up. You know, fine. Like, I'm just gonna cover my bases. Cover my bases as a, uh, I, I'm not gonna get cocky. Just because we're busted as hell doesn't mean things can't just go sour. Things could easily go sour. Telepills? Could be nice. What am I looking for? I guess I kind of want that coin, but I don't really want to take the damage for it. I'm looking for one penny so we can go to the next floor with the battery, I guess. I, th I think is, I think is my thought process. But it's probably, you know what, it's probably irrelevant. We could go and pick up that coin if we move quick enough. We actually can go and do this. It's irrelevant. Doesn't doesn't matter that we got hit, except for ego reasons. But we all we all know why I got hit. We all. All right. There was a freaking battery in here the whole time. Well, it's okay. Should I buy something else though? We have five coins. Is it in our best interest to buy something? Buy a bomb, since we don't have any. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let's save it up. We got restock. There might be some way we can get a cool active from the shop. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember what's good in the shop and what's good in the regular. I don't know. Okay. I'm scared of the sacrifice room since it just does a full heart right now. Like, I, I usually stop going when it starts doing a full heart of damage later in the run. Oh my god. And this effectively is just like, hey, that that time is that time is now. The future is now. Don't touch me though. I think Undermine has made me a slower Isaac player. Oh my I didn't even process that. I think Undermine has made me a slower Isaac player. <laughs> There's definitely a lot to, uh, there's, there's very clear ways to min-max in, uh, in Undermine. Oh my god, that's gross. We see, we're getting hit a lot. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna get cocky. Oh, we got a, we got a, the succubus guy. So, or what is it? I don't know what he's called. What the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? I ain't, I don't know. What the hell is a bone heart? When do they add new arts, hearts, hearts to Isaac? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Chance to fire a creep leaving tier that deals double damage. I don't, I see double, I take double. I see double help. Okay. All right. Causes random enemies to lag at random intervals, causing them to shortly freeze in place. Is that good? That seems, it doesn't seem that helpful. 
Mama Mega single use affects the whole floor, explodes all objects, deals 200 damage to all enemies, opens Bosch Rush, Bosch, Boss Rush, Hush, Doors, Secret Rooms. I mean, that sounds great. This is, this is the, um, the floor that would have Boss Rush. That's pretty busted. I'm gonna wait just in case it explodes something that I am not thinking about. Because who knows? I ain't above this. Papa's gotta eat. Do bombs have slightly different explosion intervals? Also, I just, honestly, I just want to see the big number. I want to see the big number. This may be one of the easiest, hugest breaks I've ever had in Isaac. This golden bomb and no remorse for your donation machine is just a lovely combo. <laughs> All right. Doink. Doink. All right. So let's Mama Mega. Placebo is a great start. Jar of flies every time you kill an enemy. Uh, I don't really... No, I don't really care. Placebo could be very, very good. Because that makes us use our pill for free, if you don't know. And we could get, like, a damage up pill, especially now since we have, um... Especially now since we have PhD. Oh, 666. We probably should have left it there. Just keep restocking with bombs. Does this turn into a card? Ah, it's just... It's only cards. Emperor... Wait. Didn't I already do this? Well, now I did it twice. I'll take I'll take this item. Okay, you can carry two pills at a time. It should drop an extra pill as well. Speed up. Uh, turns all pills into cards. No, we do not want that. Actively don't want that. Oh. So that may be where we stop. That may be where we stop with that one there. This is all for the pyramid, baby. All for the pyramid. This is an active, but I just... Deck of cards. Well... You know, I guess we're just gonna... How do I... How do I switch pills? <laughs> I don't remember. Oops. Not pressing the F button. That makes it a weird square. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's fine. I know Q, Q's mom. I don't know. Can, do you believe me that I haven't played the game in a while? I know that dropping, we just hold down control for a while. I'm gonna just do a little bit of uh, speed up back. I think we're at max. We're at maximum speed. Honestly, I think I'm too fast. I uh, I'm faster than I'd like. The second we find like a damage up pill, we're busted. Okay. I mean, I am already busted, but still. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is uh, this is definitely the item that I kind of needed, or wanted rather. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm I'm sick of this now. I've grown tired of your games. Okay. Oops. All right. I do. I am curious if there is because I wasn't there a. Uh, Oh, I thought there was the, um, whatever, mom, mom's, oh my god, this is a lot. It's so, it's, it's, it's so much. All right. I don't know what it's called, the, the armoire thing. Oh my god. Sorry for the photosensitive. I too, <laughs> I too think it's a lot. Telepills. We're definitely going to take telepills so we can go into boss rush and get a free item and then teleport out. Alright. Cook it. Book it. 
Cook it and book it. Isaac. Okay. So, we gotta make sure we take the Polaroid. That's like the big thing. That's, or it's like effectively the single thing. That's like, that is the only way we lose this right now, is if I forget to grab that one. Okay, so we get an item here for free. Uh, spawn a pill. I mean, like, it's not a bad idea. Bonus damage for every tier that successfully hits an enemy. Sure. I'm just gonna doink out of here. I know, I know, we could stay and we could stay and we'd get extra an extra item. I don't really want to. I, I I think we're busted as hell, but I don't want to chance it. All right. To the womb. We and we get items in this floor because we have the uh, the crown thing. Oh god, I hate I hate this one visually. Oh, it, oh, it gives me the heebies. Give me gives me the heebies something fierce. Telepills. Why are these all telepills? I mean, a full health pill sounds. Okay, so oh, it's control. It's control to change. I was right. I just we had two of the same thing. I'll take a full health pill. <laughs> I mean that's great. What? I've never seen this enemy ever before. Did Alexa put this enemy in the game just to try to trip me up right before the pyramid? I think he did. We could telepills all over the g darn place, but. I don't know why we would need to. Well, holding a fully charged active item, bonus a bunch of stuff. Uh, that sounds good. Let's find it. Let's. I guess the item room is probably greed and super greed no longer appear in shops. I don't think there's any more shops. I want to find the item room and then we'll go back and we'll take that other thing. Okay, that was a that was a boss at one point. <laughs> at one point, he was a boss. But yeah, as soon as we find that, I'll I'll sacri oh, I'll sacrifice a single item room, I think, for that trinket. I don't I don't know. Is it stupid? Maybe. But we don't have D six anymore, so it's that versus a completely random item from the whole pool of the game. Or from the base item pool, I guess. There's only yeah, because it 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 doesn't affect us past this floor. Okay. Milk. After taking damage, the milk gives you tears up for the rest of the room. Okay, I was just making sure it wasn't soy milk, because I do not want to mess with that. All right, so we'll go, we'll get this sucker up here. Doink. All right, so we got all kinds of stats up. God dang. God dang, I said. If we just get a pill that has damage up, or like a tear, tears up, then we are hilariously, hilariously busted. More than we already are. What the hell? Disgusting! Just in case one of these is a luck up, I guess. I think we're out of here. I think now we just start to book it. I think this is very classic Isaac, you know? Oh, shoot. I did not see the Amoa. Well, it's just right here, so. <laughs> uh, health up. Sure. Do we, actually, do we want health up? Do we want red health up here I'll, I'll do it once health up. do it one time and we can actually just eat that full health pill right now because i know that there's definitely there's benefits to having all soul hearts i know that much oh my god guys we we uh <laughs> I, I hate to like maybe call the shots a little early I we won the day I think very much so very much so I can see forever okay 
Okay. How much did we even... Like, we have the 99 gold. How much... Or, or whatever, money. How much did we even buy from the shop that's helping us that much? Let me, let me take a look. Uh... Huh. I mean, PhD is nice. Oh, PhD, placebo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got we got some value for sure. I forget. It's mostly in the active item area, but that's like a big deal. Oops. Uh, why do I hate this? Okay. So the, the bone hearts are like a... They're like halfway between a normal heart and a heart... Like a, like a soul heart and a heart container? Is that what's up? Like, if I get hit again, then it goes away? I, I don't know. That's my educated guess right now. I don't think there's really a lot of benefit to just sticking around at this point. Yeah, it just feels like, okay. I think at this point, we kind of just, uh, you know, kick it in the bum. We're just delaying the inevitable. Okay, I think that... Oh, it's Krampus. Ooh, wait. A uh, lump of coal is really good with what we got. That's a shame, though. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Go up. Whew. That was the other... That was, like, the other one situation where we could have bungled it. Now we just need to get to the bosses and, uh, and, and send them. What's all this red health coming from? Is that from Old Bandage? Is that from Old Bandage, isn't it? Oh my god. I just realized how busted that is. We we do want red health containers because of uh, uh, Placenta, I believe, heals us slowly over, t oh. slowly over time. And Old Bandage makes us drop red hearts when we get hit. Making us almost literally invincible, isn't it? Oh my god. Aren't we, like, almost literally invincible? Okay, no, we didn't drop a heart there. We're within the realm of invincibility. Increase the radius of any creep you produce. Uh, I know I produced some creep. I did, I, I did just see it. But I'd rather have all these stats, to be honest. 90 times out of 10. Next. I mean, we could also, like... I don't know, we could farm summoning these succubus things. Or whatever the heck they are. If we had um, full red hearts, I think we could... I don't know. I th we have we have a way to do it. If only we... If we find another full or uh, HP up pill, I'll, I'll mess with it. I think we could uh, we could have some extra, extra big memes going on here. Just in case we get this small rock or whatever the heck it's called. I don't remember. I don't recall. What is this? Randomly drops a sack. Okay. A sack of sacks. Oh, so like every once in a while it literally... Oh my god, I hate, I hate what's happening here though. Every once in a while it'll just drop a random... A random sack. That's... Straightforward and busted. Okay, I mean, I think we're out of here, right? Let's just... Once again, why postpone the inevitable? We don't have any uh, any orbitals blocking stuff for us. So we gotta do it semi-legit. Oh, shoot. This weird modem thing is... Honestly, I don't know if it's helping as much as it's causing annoyances. Alright, well, we have to go... We have to... We have to go to the chest. Do, could I beat Delirium? Yes, I could. But we have to go to the chest. Bonus damage. Okay. I want... I should have got a bunch of keys. Oh, we are... I, I should just... I should pay attention. I should pay attention. Just because we're busted as hell doesn't mean we couldn't stupidly stand still and uh, become the dead. Chance to fire concussive tears. That sounds nice. 
That looks a lot like another item that sucks. That just isn't that. What is it? Drop coins when you're hit. Ooh, okay. Thank you for the sack. We could telepills, but I kind of want. I kind of like the chest a lot. I really like the feeling of just. It's such a satisfying end floor because it's kind of like honestly. I feel like if you make it to the chest, you pretty much have won usually. Dear God. I feel like if you've made it to this place, you've pretty much already already won. And they kind of give you like a little victory. Victory lap thing where you're just like, here you go. Get all of these OP items. Just or all of these items and become even more of the OP. Multi-dimensional baby. Oh, with this, with this. If you walk into my beam, you're gonna have a bad time, my friend. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you for for watching. <laughs> We've effectively, I don't know. If you're new here from Alexis channel, you're wondering what the heck I do. I play a heck of a lot of uh, roguelikes. I'm just gonna eat that. Heck of a lot of roguelikes. Roguelikes and more every single day. Definitely gonna be playing some of the uh, the old Mind of Isaac when the new update comes out. I have a sneaking suspicion you're statistically statistically likely to enjoy Binding of Isaac if you were watching this video here, or if you came from the Olex Oleximus channel. But yeah, mostly known for Enter the Gungeon, but I play basically I I play all kinds of roguelikes, and I play even more than that. I don't just even stick to roguelikes. As you will see as we uh, check out some other games here. But anyway, that is going to be a very good win. Yes, oh my god, how could he be saying that so early? Oh, look it, he's going to take some damage. Okay, I'll admit, the modem's messing it up. <laughs> the concussive tier thing is pretty darn nice, though. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a victory for the first run of the pyramid. Putting us at 100 points for winning the run as starting as Isaac, and in a bonus 50 points for playing on the hard, hard seed and not backing down from a challenge and then getting a whole bunch of cheese to just uh, OP your way through all of it. But hey, I didn't make the rules. It just says win the run as Isaac, play on the hard, hard seed. It doesn't say anything else. But I had a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to coming back to Binding of Isaac in the future, and I'm looking forward to hopefully keeping the streak alive for the Pyramid, because winning two games in a row gives us an additional 100 points, three games in a row gives you 150, winning four gives you 200, and winning all five in a row gives you 300. So the streak really, really does matter a heck of a lot, and uh, well, I I'll just say I'm not too concerned about beating the Timekeeper on zero boss cells, but it could happen. It could happen. That's coming up next, followed by Super Animal Royale. I'm not wildly concerned with that. And then I think at this point, I do think the real scary stuff is the bottom uh, the bottom two. In the fourth slot, we do have The Legend of Bumbo, which I have not played in a while, so I am a little concerned. We're playing as Bumbo the Weird, uh, which I think makes it easier. We'll see. There's, I don't know. A little bit of messiness. We're going to see what we can do with that. However, maybe uh, maybe we could maybe we could get a clean sweep. A maximum uh, the maximum score is 1500. I would love to be the first person to get a clean 1500 on uh, on Tube on the YouTube. We will see. But check out uh, Alexis' channel. See how he did in the hard hard seed of run of Binding of Isaac here. And check out, uh, go subscribe to him. Subscribe here if you have not, if you're on a vacation from the Alexa channel. Vacation makes it sound like it. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Hawaii over here. Subscribe. No, I, if you're, uh, if you're, you know, on a little adventure from that channel, subscribe. I put out, uh, roguelike videos every single day. Uh, three to, f three to five videos <laughs> every day. All kinds of fun roguelikes playing Enter the Gungeon, Dead Cells. Uh, gonna be playing some, I believe I'm gonna try to be playing some Curse of the Dead Gods coming out soon. We got Undermine, uh, what the heck else, Dicey Dungeons modded, all kinds of good stuff, so check it out. Thank you everybody for watching, thank you, thank you. 
Links for everything related to the pyramid are going to be in the description if you want to play it yourself. You can modify it, take out any games that you do not own, and just have a good time with it. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.